why did I put the Toro Force 8s in three cubes net, which gives each subwoofer 1.5 each in a ported application? Well, let me let you understand something. Let me explain something to our manufacturers and their recommended volumes. Most manufacturers will give you a minimum and a maximum and close the volume that you can use uh, for any subwoofer was 8, 10, 12. In a ported application and a sealed application, they will give you a minimum volume and a maximum volume. That's what's recommended. Recommended, we do know what the word recommended in. It's basically saying, in our opinion, I recommend you do this. Most of those decisions are based on amplifier power, what they know about the subwoofer that they designed, and how it will perform over a long period of time. They're giving you more bang for your buck. Uh, but there is something known as increasing efficiency by making the box bigger than the maximum recommended. And most times you can do this up to 25% more. So if a subwoofer calls for one cube net, then you can put it in 1.25. Increase the efficiency at the cost and expense of lowering the power. If they recommend that it does one, it's a, it then put it in one cube for this power handling ability on this. Then if you was to increase the volume, then you're going to decrease the power handling capability. It's not going to be able to have the same power handling capability when the volume of the enclosure has increased. So kind of look at it like this. One cube, 500 watts, or whatever, whatever, whatever the rating of the sub is. I'm just using it as an example. One cube is my left hand, 500 watts. Increase the volume of the enclosure, decrease the power handling capability, but the difference between the two is now added efficiency. You're able to get a greater output with less power and more base extension because your enclosure is larger. That's the trade-off. You also must know how much more you can give to increase the efficiency. Net volume recommended, no, excuse me, power handling, net volume recommended. As you increase the box volume, you decrease the power handling, but in between you have increased the efficiency of the enclosure. You cannot just arbitrarily throw a subwoofer in a larger enclosure. There, there are some subwoofers that you do not, and they would tell you explicitly, do not go over the recommended volume. You avoid your warranty. But if you do know what you are doing, you are experienced in knowing what to listen for and also knowing how to gauge your power, knowing that I put the enclosure, put the subwoofer and the enclosure that's a little more, that's bigger than what it should be in to increase the efficiency. So I'm going to dial down my power because I'm not going to need that much power to attain a given result. You must know what that given result is. Now, the reason why I, I put the Toros in a larger than normal enclosure is because I wanted to see for myself what the programs were saying. That if I put two Toros in, a, in three cubes at, at 200 to 33 hertz, that I would have greater output at 33, 32, and 34 then four Toros on the same power sharing three cubes. Rewind that back so you can understand that. And I wanted to see. Yes, it is significantly louder, significantly louder at the lower frequencies, at 33 hertz, 32 and 34. I mean, it's you saw the video. It's insane. And it's actually, I haven't metered it, but you, <laughs> my aerometer, it is louder, <laughs> significantly louder in the lower regions. 
But it, that came at a cost. That did come at a cost. And that cost was overall loudness. If I, if I grab for you the... Uh, Let's look at the kickers. I, what's, I see why, why the kicker eight is my favorite overall. Number one, it plays a flat bandwidth from 100 to 20 to 28. It's relatively flat. The line is just straight across. Well, other subwoofers, the Toro, Fierce, Force, Sundown X8, uh, CC Sounds, Mezio, Wolf of Mate, all these SPL subs with these two and a half inch voice cores. I know this one doesn't have one. This is this is a, this is a fierce. All those with these two and a half inch voice cores, they're peaking. They are, at whatever you tune them at, a little bit louder than I would say the four kickers. They're peaky. Wherever you tune them at, they're going to give you a slight rise, a significant rise, 4 to 6 dB. But compared against another subwoofer, they're not as, compared against the kickers, they don't have that flat response. So their overall, overall loudness is not there. I wanted to increase the efficiency and try to get a more of a overall loudness that I could with the Force 8s in a larger enclosure. It was an experiment. It was an experiment for me. I proved several things to myself that I can use in building others' enclosures. That's one thing about MBE, uh, MB, myself. I don't tell you what I think on some, I tell you what I know because I have tried it and either had success or failed. On my channel, I'm giving you my experience either way so that you can have something to maybe shape your opinion on what you, you would do. I am not that be all in all, not no guru. <laughs> I don't think I know it all. I'm still learning. I'm still learning at 47 years old, man. I'm still learning about cardio at 47 years old by trying out different things. So the next part of my experiment <laughs> is I'm going to put two kickers in three cubes and compare it against the output I had with four kickers. And three cues. My overall loudness is going to be a little less than the four because cone air is king. But in the nether regions, at 33 hertz, it's going to be dramatic. You thought those forces were dramatic. <laughs> Wait till you hear the kickers. I am going to tell you right now that I'm expecting you to hear very little words. Very little words on the same songs when they play when I put the kickers in there. You're going to see significant increase. Why? Because I have increased the cone area and the box volume. Power. Box volume. Efficiency has came at this point. I'm going to increase the box volume and shrink the power because as I increase the box volume, I'm gaining efficiency. Up to 3 dB efficiency. It's going to be significantly louder. So be looking for that. Be looking for that. And that's why I put it in three cubes. I do not recommend that you put a Toro Force in, in 1.5 net or three cubes to the pair. I recommend that you do no larger than 1.25. That's what I recommend. Why? Because some of you don't know how to back down off that volume knob. And you will stretch those spiders. <laughs> you will damage yourself. And then you will blame it on me. So in conclusion, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> I suggest you do not do that. I suggest you put it in 
1.25 maximum after port and sub displacement or down to 0.5 minimum is my recommendation for the Toro 4 Peace.